Hi, we were talking about the concept of pairs of angles and in this video we'll look at a few examples related to it. Now here is the first example. In the figure given line PQ and RS intersect at point O. If angle POR is to angle QOR is 7 is to 2, we are supposed to find out all the angles. Now let's look at the question again. So PQ is a line also RS is a line and they intersect at this point O right in the center. Also we are given that angle POR POR this particular angle and angle QOR QOR this angle. So the ratio of these two angles is given as 7 is to 2 and we are supposed to find out all the other angles. First of all, let me just list down what all angles are there. So first of all, we have angle POR, the other one angle QOR, these two are given, the ratios are given. The third one is angle QOS and finally we have angle POS. So we are supposed to find out what these angles measure. So let's see how do we go about this. So here we see that if this one is angle 1 and this one is angle 2 then the ratio of 1 is to 2 is 7 is to 2. If we look at this line PQ and we consider OR as a ray standing on it. So consider line PQ and ray OR. So when we consider these two, we see that angle 1 plus angle 2 should be equal to 180 degrees because they are linear pair angles. Right? The sum is 180 degrees. Now angle 1 is nothing but angle POR plus angle QOR. The sum should be 180 degrees. This is the first condition. The other thing that we know is angle POR is to angle QOR is nothing but 7 is to 2. So this is the second condition that we know. Using this I can say that the value of angle POR would be nothing but angle POR would be equal to 7 over 2 multiplied with the value of angle QOR. This comes from this condition, right? Let me call this condition 3. Now I can substitute the value of angle POR in condition 1 right here. When I do that, I would get 7 by 2 angle QOR or let me just call it angle 2. 7 by 2 into angle 2 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. When I add these two, the LCM would be 2 here and I would get 7 times angle 2 plus 2 times angle 2 over 2 equal to 180 degrees. On solving this further, we would get 9 times angle 2 over 2 is equal to 180 degrees or angle 2 would be equal to 180 degrees into 2 by 9 and this is nothing but 40 degrees. So angle 2 or angle QOR this one is equal to 40 degrees. Let me just put the value right here. So angle QOR we know now is 40 degrees. Also, if we look at angle 2 here, angle QOR, this one, what is the vertically opposite angle to it? Yes, this is this angle, angle POS. So angle POS is equal to angle QOR. So angle POS would be equal to angle QOR, right? Because of vertically opposite angles 
and what is the value of QOR? We just saw it is 40 degrees. So angle POS also measures 40 degrees. Okay, great. Now let's look at how do we find out angle POR. Now from condition 3, we know that angle POR is equal to 7 by 2 times angle QOR. And now I know the value of angle QOR. So I can find out angle POR would be equal to 7 by 2 times of 40 degrees. That is the measure of angle QOR. This would give me 7 by 2 into 40 degrees. 7 into 20 would be 140 degrees. And hence angle POR measures angle POR measures 140 degrees here. So angle 1 would measure 140 degrees. We see that angle QOS, this particular angle, is vertically opposite to angle POR. So angle QOS would be equal to angle POR because they are vertically opposite angles. When you are writing in your exams or in your notebooks for your school, you have to write the whole thing, not VOA. It's vertically opposite angles. So since they are equal, hence angle QOS would also be equal to 140 degrees. So here's the value of all the four angles. This was simple, wasn't it? Let's look at another example. So here's our question. There's no figure given to it, but let's just read the question once and try to make a figure for this. The question says, a ray OS stands on a line POQ. So there's a line POQ and there's a ray OS which stands on it. Ray OR and ray OT. They are angle bisectors of these two given angles. So let's just make a figure for this. So first of all, we have a line POQ. Let this be P, let this be Q. Let there be a point O on it. So this is line POQ. Then there's a ray OS which stands on it. So let's call this ray OS. Right. Now OR and OT are angle bisectors of POS and SOQ respectively. So angle bisector of angle POS is OR. So if this is angle POS, then ray OR would be something like this. What's the other angle that's given to us? Angle SOQ. So this angle. And what is the ray that bisects it? It's ray OT. So starting from A and going towards T. So ray OT is a ray which bisects angle SOQ. Now what do I mean by an angle bisector? It just means that it divides the angle into two equal parts. So that means if OT is the angle bisector of SOQ, then this angle here is equal to this angle here. That means angle SOT measures exactly equal to angle TOQ. And similarly, for the other part where angle POS is bisected, angle POR is exactly equal to angle ROS. Now the question has given us that the measure of angle QOT is X degrees. So angle QOT measures X and we are supposed to find out the value of angle ROT. Which one is angle ROT? ROT. So this angle in the middle, this one, you are supposed to find out the value of this. First of all, let me just separate angle S O Q for you. So I'll draw angle S O Q right here. We know that angle Q O T here measures X. And we also know that this angle Q O T is equal to angle S O T. So if angle Q O T is X, then this angle would also be X. Perfect. Now let me just erase this angle 
and I would draw the line POQ and the initial ray OS. Alright, we just saw that this angle, angle SOT also measures X, right. So the whole angle, angle SOQ, this whole angle would be equal to X plus X or 2X, right? So I can say angle SOQ is equal to angle SOT plus angle QOT which is equal to X plus X or 2X. So SOQ measures 2X. I can also use the axiom of linear pair of angles here. Here angle POS and angle SOQ are two adjacent angles formed by this ray OS standing on this line POQ. Hence by using the axiom I could say that angle POS plus angle SOQ is equal to 180 degrees linear pair of angles, right? Now that I know the value of angle SOQ which is 2x, I can easily find out the value of angle POS. So I can say that angle POS plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees or angle POS would be equal to 180 degrees minus 2x. So that's your value of angle POS. So this angle, angle POS measures 180 degrees minus 2x. Now again, if we look at angle POS separately and this ray OR, which is the angle bisector of angle POS. Let me just erase this ray OQ and this angle. So I have angle POS and there is a ray OR right here which bisects this angle and we just saw what bisection means. It means that the angles are divided into two equal parts. So I can easily say that angle R O P is same as angle R O S and it is also equal to half of the total angle P O S which is the full angle this one right. So from this I can find out the value of angle ROS. So angle ROS would be equal to half of and the value of POS is 180 degrees minus 2x. That gives me angle ROS equal to 180 degree by 2 would be 90 degrees and minus 2 by 2 would be minus 1. So this would be minus x. So I can now say that value of angle ROS is 90 degrees minus X. Is that alright? So let me just tell you why I insisted on finding out the value of this angle ROS. We have to finally find out the value of this particular angle, angle ROT. Here, if this is T, then angle ROT, this complete angle, is a combination of two angles. The first one being angle ROS whose value we now know and also angle SOT. So when I add angle ROS and angle SOT, what I would get is the value of angle ROT. So what I am essentially saying is angle ROT is nothing but angle ROS plus angle SOT. Now the value of angle ROS here as we just saw is 90 degrees minus X and the value of angle SOT is X. On adding these two minus X and plus X would get cancelled and I'd be left with 90 degrees. So the value of angle ROT is nothing but 90 degrees. We'll look at more examples in the next video. Happy learning!